Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new Python package that's going to help you in uh, visualizing or explaining natural language models, especially transformer based models currently at, at least at this moment. Um, the package's name is called Echo. So before we even look into the package, uh, so I would like to tell you about what is uh, behind the scenes of this package. So this package has been developed by Jay Alamar. So Jay Alamar is uh, somebody who is quite familiar in uh, the NLP domain for uh, his amazing visualization of uh, explaining um, any um, NLP technique, especially uh, if you see transformer based models, GPT-3, they were very amazing visualization. So you would have probably seen it all uh, all over internet. So one of uh, Jay's article is uh, interfaces for explaining transformer language models. So in this article, Jay actually explains uh, two ways, two methods in which we can explain transformer based models. So what are those two methods? So the first method is called uh, input saliency. And then the second method is called neuron activation. So neuron activation is quite popular uh, in computer vision model, um, computer vision interpretability for you to understand uh, in a particular um, um, epoch. So what is probably the new, which part of the neuron is highly activated. So probably based on that, you understand um, in a given image, what is in that current cycle, uh, the um, neural network is trying to learn. So that, that's that's how new neuron activations are used in computer vision. So in this uh, article, uh, Jay explains, uh, we can use input saliency and neuron activation methods to understand uh, how a particular uh, text is generated. So what is input saliency? Input saliency uh, is uh, going to tell you if you have given a prompt text, an input text is going to tell you out of all the words that you have given in an input text, what is that word that has most impact in generating this new word? So if you if you see the new word, it's going to tell you which which uh, which is that. Uh, so if you see new word, it's going to tell you what is that input text that had huge impact in this um, uh, word generation text generation. And neuron activation, as we saw, uh, is going to tell you uh, which uh, which neuron uh, which uh, which part of uh, the network is activated, and based on that, you'll be able to understand. And uh, in this package, uh, Jay is using um, non-negative uh, matrix uh, factorization in an MF uh, for uh, visualizing neuron. Uh, so it's it's kind of a dimensionality reduction where you try to reduce it to a set of components and then you visualize that components. So let's get started with uh, the package. The package um, is called ECO, E-C-C-O. Um, definitely uh, make sure that you start this package. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful gesture to support an open source project. Uh, so as the description says, it's a package for you to uh, visualize and explore natural language processing, especially language models. So it's, uh, it's going to help you in creating interactive visualization within your Jupyter notebook or Google Colab for that matter. So this is the name of the package. And then uh, you can simply install this package using pip install echo. So before we get into understanding about what are the steps to uh, generate the output. So this package has got an amazing landing page where you can actually see what this package does. So this package does uh, basically two things. So one, you have a natural language um, uh, model uh, that is going to generate a bunch of text. So the first um, the first method is input saliency, like we said. So if you hover on a particular word, it's going to tell you which word from the input text uh, is uh, probably the main reason for you to for the model to generate this particular text. And then the second thing is um, neuron activation, uh, which is uh, like let's say uh, if you have uh, reduced it to ten components, you can just hover on the component and see what are those words that this particular component um, has contributed to. Both of these methods are highly useful for you to understand uh, your uh, language model. So before we even get into the actual code, uh, so one thing that I wanted to highlight is you might wonder, why do we even need uh, to visualize this? Like, what is what is the point of doing all these things? So interpretable machine learning or the buzzword goes as, uh, as they say, explainable AI has been trending uh, recently uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, there are a lot of um, cases where a company had a model and they didn't know, understand uh, what is happening underneath the model. And then the model ended up becoming a um, SHIT uh, in a public space. And then um, everyone started, uh, um, the company's brand value started uh, taking a toll. Um, 
it we saw it with uh, amazon recruitment system we saw it with uh, apple card uh, which they released it with goldman sachs so all of these things happened uh, so that is one of the reasons why it is very important uh, for a machine learning team to have uh, interpretable machine learning um, techniques or uh, processes set in place before a model goes to wider audience um, or maybe get into social system so lang nlp uh, is uh, taking uh, nlp is going into a very next level in terms of uh, how models are being treated uh, or productionized so for that matter so it is important for us to understand what is happening underneath the model so this is a great first step uh, for us to do that and uh, let's get started with uh, the code so the code is not something that i wrote um jay has been kind enough to produce uh, share the google collab environment so we are going to see the same code so the only thing that i did is uh, change the google collab runtime from uh, cpu to gpu instance so that's the only thing that i did let's reconnect and then let's see what the steps are the first step is you have to install the package pip install eco so you install the package um and once you install the package import the package and the the, the step in um, this um, eco visualization is very simple first you load the model once you load the model this model is uh, saved uh, in this object lm uh, and now you are uh, giving a prompt text the text based on which your output text is um, uh, the nlp model is going to generate the text so the model is lm and uh, the text that you are giving is text and based on this lm is generating an output text and then this output object has the output text sequence and it also has other information which was used by this model for generating the text and now that's what we are going to visualize so if you take output and then you run nmf uh, non negative matrix factorization which is also a technique that is uh, you would see probably most probably most popularly in recommendation engines as a dimensional detection technique uh, so we are saying that we want 10 components and once you have 10 components you can just hover on a component and then it tells you which component has contributed to which text so if you see this not just that it looks so beautiful for you to visualize but it is also so helpful uh, in understanding uh, how your language model has been performing and uh, what are what are those important words so you can probably look at uh, the kind of words so this is if you all see this is all punctuation marks this is if you see um, uh, you can see mostly uh, like adjectives and if you see this um, so you can actually see this pattern when you hover on it you would be able to see uh, what 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 is that component and what kind of words um, it has con um, contributed to so this is one of the techniques which we saw uh, neuron activation uh, and then the next technique is um, input saliency uh, okay so this notebook has also got reconnect so same uh, same steps for us to reproduce um, install the package load the package uh, import eco and from that you uh, load the pre-trained model in this case distal gpt2 and then you have the prompt text uh, the input text and then you use the model to generate the text based on this text and then it is going to generate the remaining countries um, as guessed or um, predicted by this model and uh, now if you want to know why uh, this particular prediction has been made now you can say that output dot saliency and then you can click finland let's say in this case finland okay detail Mm. yeah javascript you acts always uh, slightly crazy so you can um, you can you can just see that and then you can see okay if you see finland uh, what what is that uh, most important word uh, that uh, drove for uh, predicting finland france so you can see what is that word so you you can actually have a sense of you know what is that word that that uh, that is important in predicting this word for example if you over on it you can see the percentage of contribution that each of these words have made in predicting um, or uh, coming up with finland so you can see the percentage if you see austria is the most important uh, factor in uh, predicting or in generating finland so if you see france uh, again austria is the most important if you see denmark then you see austria is highest but uh, you know you can see bulgaria also has important thing and shake has uh, more uh, 
like more weightage than austria so this is the first method that we said input saliency where you use um, the input token to understand or attribute um, the predicted word so you you kind of uh, attribute the background uh, attribute uh, percentage value to understand uh, what is that uh, what is that tokens contribution in predicting this word so both these methods are explained in detail in this article which i will definitely uh, link it in the description uh, below the like button so if you like this video please like the video give a thumbs up share your comments and also subscribe to the channel and uh, as i said uh, before this is a wonderful um, it's it's not just a pure code uh, that i would like to appreciate but it is also very p uh, a piece of art work i would say in terms of how beautiful the visualization look and um, how uh, intuitive it is for anyone uh, to understand so if you want to know the theory concept behind it go through this article uh, if you want to get started with this directly go here uh, to the github repository make sure you start the repository and then fire up your google collab instance and then try out with uh, different examples that you think uh, would be useful for you uh, this is uh, this this package uh, is an alpha stage as the as the developer jay mentioned so if you really like this package share the feedback uh, please definitely give a shout out to jay uh, on twitter if you like this package uh, jay has made tremendous contribution in uh, explaining and understanding uh, or making us understand natural uh, language processing models especially the recent ones so it's it's a good gesture if you uh, if you give a shout out and uh, that's it uh, so this is a wonderful package and i hope this uh, leads to more interpretable machine learning con um, evolution in uh, natural language processing which is uh, which is going to grow like anything and um, that's it uh, in the next video i'll see you until that uh, take care of yourself stay safe peace